Great. The first days are behind you. The atmosphere is already more relaxed. Now it is time to familiarize your apprentice more detailed with both your expectations and specific work assignments. But keep in mind, don't stop to kindly encourage your apprentice and offer support in case any professional advice is needed. Do so at least occasionally, if needed by phone or email. In a structured, unambiguous, and understandable way, explain to the apprentice which tasks exactly need to be carried out in the company and how. The assignments need to be in accordance with the learning outcomes agreed and defined by both the college and your company. It is essential for your apprentice to acquire those. Already before the actual apprenticeship started, you prepared a detailed training plan. This plan will help you and your apprentice throughout the mentoring process. Don't forget the importance of specifying goals you want to achieve clearly. But more about goals later in our next video. Since you probably want your apprentice to be creative, effective, and contribute to problem solving and addressing challenges in your company, it is important to provide an environment in which the apprentice can feel well, open-minded, and secure. Only in this kind of an environment, apprentices' new ideas and creativity can really shine. As a mentor, one of your major roles is to be a great observer. If your apprentice shows any symptoms of stress at the moment, this task is too demanding for the apprentice. It is not recommended to overload your apprentice with the amount of work or the level of autonomy. This can be manifested by the apprentice becoming anxious, careless, and ineffective due to too much stress. Consequently, the result is lower quality of work, less creativity, and less loyalty and ambition from your apprentice. All these are the main motivation drivers for your apprentice and also the greatest benefits your company can acquire from any apprenticeship. So make sure your apprentice feels well, self-confident, appreciated and able to find room for creativity in given work assignments. This is the best way to suggest innovative solutions that will help your business grow and develop to an even better one. Since apprentices on this level are educated to become the future members of middle management, they will also need to master good leadership and negotiation skills. And who can provide them with a better example than you? On the other hand, your role of a great observer should also be watching out for any symptoms of tasks being too simple. As soon as the apprentice masters the simpler tasks, assign him or her more difficult ones. Your apprentice is forced to step out of the comfort zone and consequently progress and expand own professional knowledge. Even more, your apprentice will acquire new soft skills and increase own value on the labor market. At the same time, the apprentice will be able to perform more challenging tasks for you, take away some of your workload, and above all, offer solutions that you may not have even thought of. Praise the apprentice's self-initiative 
as it can help launch your company among the best ones in your field. This is a win-win situation.